Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Bible Illustrated Hands. Um, before I start off with a question, I first want to unpack this, uh, which is something I got in the mail today. Uh, I will slowly try to unwrap it uh, as I'm talking because I'm generally very poor at untying ribbons and the knots, uh, which is especially problematic if you are uh, an alter server and the sensor, the chains of the sensor get tangled. It is really problematic. So, um, I found the cross stitcher uh, online. Uh, it's Emily. Hi, Emily. Uh, I ordered one of her beautiful um, uh, needleworks uh, and it got here today. Okay, I thought that... <laughs> I thought this this would oh, maybe like this. Let's see. Okay, it's not as I anticipated. So, uh, I ordered one of her beautiful uh, needleworks and uh, I know that cross stitching is a thing, that it is the name of the method of how you actually do the needlework, but it is also a pun because she uh, uh, mostly creates Christian artwork through this. Uh, and uh, uh, as of recent, I, uh, I was thinking about starting doing needlework myself, assuming I had free time, which I don't and won't have in the next 10 years, for the very least, but um, who knows. And uh, I even commented on um, uh, on my workplace that uh, um, I would really like to learn how to weave on a loom and uh, my co-worker said what's a loom and uh, I started uh, telling him that he probably thinks that a spinning wheel is some sort of uh, medieval stationary bike okay so let's first we have this beautiful card uh, from the cross teacher Boyan, thank you very much for supporting my little shop, and hopefully it won't be little for much longer. I hope you enjoy your... Uh, your... Peach. May God bless you and bless the nativity. Natalie. Okay, sorry, sorry, it's not Emily. <laughs> sorry, Natalie. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I can reconstruct this word. Bla oh, p a piece. Okay, this is a piece. Actually, this is actually a ver very nice handwriting, but it is sort of... Um, picturesque. So, uh, just because a handwriting is beautiful does not make it easy, uh, easy to read, but this is this is rather beautiful. Thank you, Natalie. And I do hope you like this promotion. And I actually wanted to uh, promote this on a video with Ted more views, so that is why I am going to answer the question that you see uh, in, the, uh, in the video title. So, the cross stitcher. Natalie Gamble, fiber artist. Okay. Embro uh, embroideries and weaving stitched with love in Southeast Pa. Etsy, the cross stitcher shop. Instagram, at the underscore cross underscore stitcher. Facebook, the cross stitcher. Follow her on these accounts. And the moment at least I have been waiting for for so long. By the way, because I've actually never ordered any needlework or used uh, Etsy. Uh, by accident I ordered uh, a sewing kit uh, for this piece. Now let's see... Oh, okay, so uh, I will actually uh, open it from this side. Oh, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> so this is the underside. The underbelly of the stitch. Liches get the stitches. Oh... Now, isn't this beautiful? Guys, this is at least as beautiful as it is on the picture, if not more so, and it's definitely more so. so I have to venerate the Most Holy Cross. Uh, I actually ordered this for my new apartment, which is very grey heavy, and this will match it perfectly, and oh, Natalie, thank you so much, you're such a talented... Uh, Arti uh, artist, and I do hope that you keep making these forever. This is, this is absolutely stunning. I will put it here. Okay, now for the uh, for the bad part of the video, uh, where do I rotate? Uh, where do I rotate the? 
camera? He asks, not knowing where to rotate. <laughs> so, I apologize profusely for actually cancelling my previous video, so now I'm starting it over. I mean, I won't do the cross-teacher part, but because I didn't want to uh, cancel my uh, honest reaction to the needlework, we are starting from here. So the question is from Zibn uh, His question is, what are my opinions of the band Batushka? Even though I think it should be Batushka, but whatever. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is a word that is, it is an affectionate word uh, that uh, Russians use for priests. It means sort of like father, but affectionate. Um, and Batushka is a black metal band, if I'm not mistaken. And if you guys know the ghost band, this is basically the the orthodox, anti-orthodox equivalent. So a uh, bunch of guys dressed up as uh, uh, orthodox great schema monks uh, with their faces covered in order to weakly protect their um, uh, identity. And they use... Uh, satanic imagery that is par uh, a parody of uh, orthodox imagery. Um, I did not listen to this band, but that does not mean that I'm not very opinionated. Um, a cursory glance at their imagery tells me all I need to know. Um, personally, I don't mind too much using of spiritual music in some secular um, settings. Uh, I do oppose the reverse situation, that is using secular m music for religious purposes, at least during religious services. Uh, however, even if these people sang uh, Orthodox Christian tunes with uh, that black metal growling, again, it is not something that I would oppose too much, but the fact of the matter is that they use satanic imagery, and that is why I do not think that this band has any redeemable qualities whatsoever. Uh, they do have powerful imagery, but sim um, in, in the exact same manner to the Church of Satan, uh, Satan, that imagery is simply based on Christian imagery. It is not original, it is not uh, based on something uh, that it is opposing, uh, that... Uh, it, um, it is simply based on something that it is opposing, and uh, you don't have a true, uh, true individuality in that sense, which is, uh, at least in the case of Church of Satan, hilarious, because they're, they're fighting for individuals and liberty, and uh, yeah, but <laughs> you're, basically, uh, you're basically basing your whole shtick on opposition to something, so uh, be original, at least. Uh, so, let me return to Batushka. Uh, if you simply pay attention to the iconography that they use, they, lose, uh, they use a lot of inverted crosses. And I know that many of you will say, yeah, but that's St. Peter's cross. Uh, no, no, it's simply the mockery of Christian cross, uh, because um, they invert the, as it is called, Russian Orthodox cross. And that is definitely the cross of Christ. It is not the cross of St. Peter. So... Uh, Again, uh, you, uh, you might make an argument that an ordinary Latin inverted cross is a cross of St. Peter, but you cannot do that for a Russian cross. Um, they, ver uh, they invert crosses on their uh, uh, schema vestments, which are, of course aren't schema vestments, but a parody of them. Uh, so uh, it is my wholehearted opinion that a Christian has absolutely no business in listening to this band. Uh, and if you're a big fan and everything, again, this is something you need to break, uh, you need to break their hold off you. I really like the sound of the, uh, of the band Ghost, but I do not listen to them because um, they might consider uh, their own... Um, playful use of satanic, uh, satanic imagery as playful. But uh, us as Christians, we know what the, uh, the spirituality of these symbols are, and we should stay very, very much clear of them. Even if it, uh, even if it is uh, playful, you know, this is simply a different sort of temptation. In the same way, for example, a warlock might be tempted uh, by power to conduct satanic rituals, 
this is simply a uh, this is simply a different temptation for people who are aren't really uh, into sacrifices, rituals, magic, whatever. Uh, but uh, who might be oh, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal, you know. Um, imagine uh, uh, imagine having a, I don't know a picture uh, a picture depicting your mother in the most horrible uh, poses. Would you use it in any playful manner? Of course you wouldn't. And why would sh should we uh, be playful with the use uh, of uh, uh, symbols of the enemy of our salvation? You know, uh, that's uh, all I have to say. Uh, again, I apologize for uh, the, <laughs> the mishap in the middle of the video, but uh, I, I was never the one to have a fancy recording e equipment. Maybe that will change in the future. God willing, we'll see. But uh, then again, there's probably no need for me to have fancy equipment in any way. So, uh, thank you for joining in. And again, big, big, big uh, thanks to Natalie for making these amazing needleworks. Uh, and guys, visit her at uh, the Cross Teacher on different, um, on different uh, media that I have shared. And send her some love. Bye!